figure is still a good figure. What part of that didn't you? This is Earthrise Scorpionite, and that's a tub that has a bunch of my stuff in it. If you smell what the rock is. Everybody, welcome to Review Time with Isip. I'm Isip, and today we're going to be taking a look at the reissue of the original uh, Beast Wars Transformers Optimus Primal. Well, the original monkey one, um, uh, gorilla one, not monkey, gorilla. The original gorilla version of him, not the original version because the original version was actually a bat. But um, now, if you're wondering why I keep starting off with the back of the box, it's just because the front of the box is just a big empty nothing because of course I've taken the figure out uh, the back of the box has all the current wave figures and of course a little bio if you choose to read it you can pause it and there we go we're on our way there is a little card built in this is how you do cards because I don't really care about the cards and there we go I uh, almost grabbed the wrong one. Wait, which one is the right one? This one. So here we are. Here is Optimus Primal in his beast mode. Uh, and this is the second iteration. The colors are a little bit different than the first one. Um, the paint is not quite as glossy. It's, a, it's got a little bit more matte in places. And certain colors are more vibrant on the original than on the new toy because the new toy I think it's trying to uh, ape the colors of the, the show a little bit better and Optimus Prime wasn't really black black in the show he was kind of a gray so here we have Optimus Primal with the original uh, Optimus Primal the original version of the toy which I've had for a little bit it's incomplete. You can see the colors are a little bit different, especially if you look at the eyes. Uh, the eyes for the gorilla are a darker blue, like this is a lighter blue, this is a darker blue. The I don't know if it's coming out on the camera because I can't see it too well, uh, but the teeth are a brighter yellow. Um, and even the, the paint on the face is slightly a different shade. And of course, the whites are whiter on this guy because he's not so old. So there's that. Uh, there's the bottom of him. And I mean, the, the, the blacks are almost exactly the same. There's very slight differences in places. So we have that. Uh, here he is next to the Robot Masters version, which uh, not in this mode, but in the next mode will actually be a lot closer to the original uh, the, to the the show he also doesn't sport a grimace like he does and i don't know what this is this was not there before i think there's some paint rub from storage but otherwise and his hands are open but otherwise they are fairly close and of course i'm going to bring in where are you the universe repaint this was my optimus primal for years it was the only one i was able to get for many years um, as much as I like the original uh, I like a lot of the coloration on him better I like the silver with the red around it uh, I like the eyes better um, if you look at the the eyes he has pupils this one is just no pupils I don't really care for the rest of the colors. I don't like the green, but uh, this is, I mean, it's a purplish color, but it's a sort of a brownish kind of purple, if that makes any sense. And I think uh, a brown or a red would actually be a closer 
Oh no, gorillas are not brown. They're, they're black, so never mind that. But if he was uh, a little more redder, if he had more of this, he could be like Burning Convoy. Burning Beast Convoy, which in the Beast Wars Neo show, he had a... Uh, they drew him rather than having him being 3D animated. And he, uh... He was able to, like... Like catch on fire he was he turned red and there was an aura around him and lyle convoy turned yellow with a yellow aura around him so and he was called burning burning convoy something like that so there's that let me go ahead and bring in i'm not transforming megatron back into his beast mode yet but i'm gonna bring in here is t-rex so you get an idea of how they they sized up on the show they weren't this big on the show he was a small t-rex and he was a regular size well slightly slightly tall gorilla slightly whereas here he's about the size of king kong the original king kong when he was like 25 feet tall and he would you know so that's what i always thought until i rewatched the show especially when they showed the humans or the proto humans and you see how they size up to dinobot who's supposed to be one of the bigger uh, beast wars characters i was very disappointed anyway that's neither here nor there let's go ahead and transform him real quickly it's very easy you're going to pop these up pop these up come down here straighten his legs out now you're supposed to flip these around so that it's just these three nubs here but i find he stands better if you just leave his feet the way they were pull the heels out here and then rotate this whole piece like this so basically he looks like that and then you're gonna push the ape face in at the chin a little bit and you will slide this down and rotate this all the way around and put that there and there you have convoy uh convoy there you have optimus primal give me a second i don't have this transform correctly Woo there we go optimus primal in his robot mode with his mutant mask on and the, i i'd never noticed this until i got this figure uh because the the figure i had before uh his uh his horns his horns his antenna were misassembled but his uh antenna actually come out and form like bug mandibles for this bug face he's got and i think that's pretty cool it gives him almost a predator vibe and then if you don't want that you just fold that down fold the antennae up and then rotate this whole thing around and there you have optimus primal in his regular mode his uh normal robot mode now you see there is an issue there the issue is he doesn't have a mouth he has only the faceplate now in the show he did have the faceplate but he only used it very rarely he always had his mouth open uh, almost always but there were once or twice where he had the faceplate. There was a, a gimmick I just remembered. I forgot to show you in the beast mode, and I'll show it to you now because it's not. Let's see. Make sure that these are in the right position. So in the beast mode, let's go ahead and lift this up a little bit. There's a switch right here. If you take this switch and pull it down, and do this the right way uh, if you do basically he has a chest pounding gimmick and I can't do it for some reason you know what? I have other ones in their beast mode still I'll just do that put them to the side alrighty Let me bring this up and here do like this basically and then 
you do this and it's supposed to chest pound i don't know how it's supposed to like chest pound but i'm not doing it right so but yeah he has a chest pounding uh gimmick hey guys i figured out the issue i was having with the uh the arms okay so there with the arm pounding gimmick you have to make sure that you have these switches in the right position which i think is down and when you have them down and you move the switch on top he does this which if you don't get everything in the way lets you do oops why am i, I feel like i'm zoomed in lets you do the chest pounding gimmick now if you turn the switches the other way which is the way i had them before uh let's see is it up yeah up instead of pounding on his chest and sorry for the piece popping i haven't figured out where the uh microphones are on this thing when you turn his arms they do this which is great for when you have the uh paleo tracks mace in his hand but not so good when you're trying to make his chest pound so make sure you have these switches in the i think it's the yeah the down position before you start trying to do the chest pounding gimmick here we go there he is with the original one you can see the the color differences i was talking about for one this optimus doesn't have the red matrix chamber the the new one doesn't have it the uh the blue is a lot more a lot darker almost a black color so it's closer to the way it was on the show on the show it wasn't a bright blue like this one is and definitely doesn't have a red uh red back half so um otherwise their colors are fairly similar the gimmicks are exactly the same we'll go ahead and get the other so and we have the three main ones and then i'm going to get the robot master one transform just so you can see what i'm talking about as far as as being uh show accurate and that this one this little one is actually the most also it has an automorphing face but like look at the head on this guy i mean it's a little bluer than it's supposed to but look at the shape he's got uh, he's got the face plate that the other guys don't have uh, otherwise they're all fairly similar why are you looking away here we go i took his uh his beast mask off because i just at the time i wasn't digging it i'm gonna find it again and put it back on because actually it was pretty decent um oh we have to there we go focus 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 okay so yeah now they let's move him out they he has the same gimmicks as he had before where if you open this up there is paleo trex's head we now know this is paleo trex's head uh on a string so it works as a a mace so we have that we also have the pop out gun for his arm and we have uh, the pop out weapons as well so we have those not to mention we have his whoop, scimitar which i guess we'll just put this gun away for now so we have all of his his original weapons and stuff and that's cool and the other guys have all of that as well his missiles do fire i am not going to fire them because i will never find them again so we'll just put that away for now um now the other guys with the exception this guy his his uh gimmicks are a little bit different so with the robot master one he has the he just has two guns in his forearms he doesn't have whoops the paleo uh gimmick and you can you manually make these come out and they actually look these look a lot better because the guns are exposed but his uh 
He has the same weapon gimmick, uh, except not quite as big as the new guy. But he's got his little weapon. He's got all all the same weapons for the most part, just without the paleo trucks. And just wanted to show that. So we'll go ahead and put this guy back in regular order and we'll go ahead and bring in his counterpart and get him to stand here he is with Megatron and I like I like the way they look together I mean Megatron is should be bigger if we're going by the show he should be actually a lot taller than Optimus a lot taller uh, I think uh, if we put the Kingdom Primal next to him in robot mode I think that's about right but they still look good together I'm happy to have these little figures I think <clears throat> for the most part the Optimus actually wins out especially in the in the role overall I think Optimus wins out on everything as far as the beast modes, I mean, the gorilla looks great, but the T-Rex, well, the T-Rex, honestly, no, nah, I think, I think Optimus wins out overall because whereas the T-Rex is just as cool as the ape, uh, like as far as they, they look really good, um, Optimus has the better uh, robot mode. So that said, I'm Isip. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope I wasn't a lot of rambling. I was trying to keep this down a bit, uh, a little bit shorter than my normal ones, also uh, because I'm running out of space on this device. Uh, that said, I'm Isaac. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Ciao.